You look shattered, babes. I'm pretty tired. Morning, Morning and welcome back to King in It. So today we're leaving the Balance Asayao. Oh no. We're leaving our couple's cottage, which was just wonderful. We made a bit of a mess, but fortunately our standards now have to drop and we've got to find a little shithole to stay in tonight. So now we've got to go back to the main town where a guy called Al has hooked us up for an island hopping tour. So we're going to get some breakfast and then get on the boat back to Koron town and have a little goosey. Starving. Wind's proper kicking off so we're just hanging out in the toilet. But the guy who's taking us on the boat tour is going to pick us up. So we've got a tour sorted for today. Yeah, should I change my bathing suit? Well, you've got about 64 of them, so. Yeah, but I've worn them all now, so uh, when we get to Corontown, we need to go shopping. You can do that. Yeah? Maybe. <laughs> We stopped off at CYC, which is Koran Youth Club, and it's like a picnic area slash, well, it's an island which you can just snorkel around. It's really cool. Weather buddy in the CYC, put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. <laughs> Look at the colour of the sea. Is it wherever you go? There's always someone selling beer or coconuts. Go on, my son. No. We found some dogs. Living the island life. Check you guys out. Okay, so we're at the next spot, and hopefully here you can you can jump in a snorkel. But hopefully you can see like barracudas and turtles and sea clams and stuff. I'm not sure of the name of it, but there's like seven islands, and there's like a whole history of seven sisters and seven sins and seven something or others. But it looks cool. Let's all remember to respect the sea, Craig. Respect the sea. Don't touch anything. Don't kick any coral like me. It is for your eyes only. Going for you so far. So yeah, the weather's died right down. The sun's come out. It's a brilliant day. So that was the hidden lagoon. It's hidden because it's like 
behind some of those massive, gigantic, big rock sculpture things, you know what I mean? Yeah, he said there's sometimes jellyfish around the sides, but you're usually okay in the middle. Well, I was flapping a little bit like. Look at the view, show them the view, Craig. Show the people the view. Madness, look at these colors. Vultures look so cool as well. Mad things. This is just lush, isn't it? It's, it's so lush that it's too chill, too relaxing, and I want to go to sleep. The cool thing about Caron is that it's nowhere near as busy as El Nido. And the guy was telling me earlier that we mentioned on the last vlog that Kayangan Lake's closed because two tourists drowned there, I think. So it was like under investigation. So because that's closed, there's another lake that's like kind of busy. But compared to El Nido, this is nowhere near as busy, is it? Yeah, no, it was busy when we went past it. So the guys were like, we'll just go to the next one and we'll come back. And we went back and there was nobody there. So yeah. it was brilliant, yeah. Like the lunch stop we had in El Nido, there was about literally about 12 boats there. And on this one, there's three. And, and it's like, a tiny little bay, yeah, isn't it? It's tiny, amazing. Loads of room. But they're going to cook us up a storm now. they got some little veggie dishes for us, little vegan freaks. You go home and it's so different. It's so ugly, <laughs> like compared to here. No, it's not it, ugly. Look how, look how vast this is. Like there's just sea and mountains and the color of everything. So ugly. Not Our ugly, home. just different, ugly. okay? Just different. So our tour guide Vincent, top guy, he's so friendly. He noticed my hand, I got bitten by some sea lice. If you don't know what sea lice are, they kind of look just like little white dots in the sea, but when you go past them, they like bite you and kind of stings a bit. Only, only tell you. Only a little bit, like my hand hurts slightly. But when they were stinging me, I was proper scratching it and he said the worst thing you can do is scratch your hand. But he put some vinegar on it and it feels fine now. Good lad. Thanks, Vincent. Good lad. <laughs> but yeah, here, like, usually you, you just gob it in, in your snorkel mask, don't you? You just spit in it and wipe it all around <laughs> so it doesn't get all steamed up when you go in. But they used toothpaste on this one and it actually worked perfectly. Yeah, it was a dream. So have a go with that instead. Top tip of the day. Yeah. Okay. Seaweed, apparently. Oh. Okay, so we're at Barracuda Lake. 200 pesos per person to get in. And you've got to wear a life vest because of the incident that happened the other day. You have to walk up this little bridgey bit to get in. But we forgot, we forgot our snorkels because of bloody rookies. So hopefully we don't miss out on too much, but it's so cool already. We're in. So is everyone else. <laughs> it's still blue. It's like a tourist soup. Okay. Mm. Look at the backstroke on this kid. One arm Olympic champion. What did he just say about the stonefish? They can kill you. You have to make sure you wear shoes here or they'll go and uh, poison us. Dead. Dead. <laughs> you love the little life jacket, don't you? Little doggy paddle for me. Good lad. Oh. You did well. Places. You see the pee or 
No, Vincent said it's a mix of fresh water and seawater, so there's like hot and cold spots. That's really cool. Mm, it is cool. It feels like a little bit of a bath. It's really nice after being in the water for so long. I know. What are you doing? Like, why? I landed right in my bollocks. Oh, you'll be okay. <laughs> It's been really good, I actually love that. It started off like really windy and choppy, but as the day went on, it went super calm. That last spot was wicked, wasn't it? It's windy. Yeah, it was really cool. Really good. So we did the ultimate tour and we went with Caron Gallery. So thanks for having us, Alan and May, you lot of champions. We'll link their company in the description if you want to do the same one, but 10 out of 10 for me, that was awesome. Top snorkeling, top scenes. It's, it, it's probably the best snorkeling we've seen in Definitely the Definitely the best so snorkeling. Yeah. I didn't quite get it on the GoPro, but we saw a barracuda at one point. It was like this big. It was all kinds. I did stub my toe on a, what are they called? Sea urchin. On a sea urchin. And I got bitten by lice, but every time Vincent was like, just chuck some vinegar on it. Like, vinegar saved the day, apparently. So when we got back, Vincent was like, do you want a tricycle? I got a mate. His mate was like, are you hungry? He took us to a vegetarian restaurant called Winnie's. And now he's gone to find us a room and he's gonna take us there as well. Bloody brilliant. Okay, so we're on a tricycle. We've got a lovely gentleman trying to help us find a room. <laughs> so, uh, fingers crossed we get somewhere pretty soon because we're shattered. By the way, the food in Winnie's was sensational. Highly recommended if you come into Caron. Let the mission Room mission begin. <laughs> so this is the new gaff. We've actually got a triple room. Paid 600 with just a fan. She wanted a thousand for the aircon, but she wasn't budging. So Craig was just like, Ames, you can just have the fan. Lovely bathroom. Only problem is, I haven't got a shower. So Craig's gone to talk to a man about a shower. Oh. This is the, the old lady who's like the mafia leader of the family. She's like, you use the dipper. To stick it over your head. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what you flush the toilet with. Oh. <laughs> get involved. Get involved with the culture, kid. Yeah, but Craig, we've been on a massive, like... Use the dipper. <laughs> a massive island hopping tour today. The last well, thing I want to do is, like, wash myself. Well... It is what it is, so just get in, get involved with the dipper. P.S. Taking those curtains home for sure. P.S. Hashtag burnt. For those of you thinking, what's a dipper? It's one of these. You usually use it to flesh your poo, in most cases. But today, I want to flesh Amy. Who even agrees to pay 600 pesos? No, I was ready! That went in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a dodgy bone video. Okay. <laughs> Probably the weirdest ending to a vlog of all time, but that is it for today's video. I, I don't feel like I can tell them to be king in it if we are king and we have got a bloody shower. No, king in it is we'll be in wrong world. We deal with what we got. We got a shower, we're using it. So, um, always keep king in it, guys. No matter something about lemons and life and it throwing at you and that. And um, just, just lemon and charge it out of there. If you're new, thanks so much for watching. Please click subscribe. One, two, three, bye!